How's it going you guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. Today we're gonna be jumping right into the game. Death Loom Chapter 1. Now this is gonna be kind of my first real let's play and I'm really excited about that. Now this is not a free indie game, unfortunately I know I'm sorry. <laughs> I promise I will keep doing those, but this is something that caught my eye on the Steam Summer Sale and I really kind of wanted to check it out. Plus, it's a little longer so I can actually do episodes with it so we can kind of have like a series going on this channel. And because it's gonna be a little longer, I hope you guys grab some snacks, some sweets and treats, whatever you guys want to eat, and if you do, let me know down below what you're eating. I always kind of love reading comments from you guys saying, oh, I watched this while I was eating pizza or this or that. Please let me know. I've got my unhealthy drink over here. And to not feel like a complete badass, I got this over here. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's get right into this. All right, you guys, I don't know if you guys are ready, but I'm definitely not. <laughs> Okay, now I'm ready. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, I have no idea what to expect with this game. I don't know if it's gonna be gory, gonna be kind of suspenseful, jump scares, I have no clue. So I'm kind of excited to see where this takes us, what this game is like. Adapt and survive as there are no previous save files and no second chances for wasted supplies. Oh, I don't do good with those. <laughs> It started about two months ago. I found a letter outside my mother's house during one of my visits from Boston. It had nothing written on it, only a wax symbol on the back of a snake wrapped around a cup. I recollected seeing one of these letters during my childhood growing up in Providence. My mother took it out of my hand and locked it away in a box she kept under her bed. I saw that the box was almost full and not a single one was open. It's something I think about from time to time, though I had mostly forgotten about. I'm almost 30 now, and once again held one of these strange letters. I saw no harm in opening just one, for the sake of my childhood curiosity. It was handwritten, informing my mother that her father had passed away at his estate in Massachusetts after a long battle with a chronic illness. So her mother's getting a lot of letters and never opening them, and it's up to her daughter to open them? This is strange. My grandfather died before I was born, at least that's what my mother told me. My family has always been my mother and I, and she rarely spoke of her parents or upbringing. The news that he was alive all these years, only a day's drive away, was devastating. After consideration, I decided to take an absence from work and travel to my grandfather's house without my mother's knowledge. Hopefully I'll learn about who he was and get closure on the years we could have had together. Alright, now this is creepy as hell. There's empty black paintings? Nothing even in them? Uh, oh! That's just the shark cage in the middle of the house. It helps when diving. Oh shit, I didn't even see there was a person inside. So this was the grandfather's house? I'm starting to realize why the mom didn't want anything to do with her dad. Fuck. Whoop. Christina, how long have I been in this house? How many years? I don't think I can do anything to let this guy out, so we're gonna continue to check out the rest of the house. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I don't want to go downstairs. This house is kind of felt- it kind of feels in, like it's built like a maze, if that makes sense. Are those- those better be mannequins, I swear to god. Okay, thank god. All right. What's with all the chain link fencing? Okay. All right. Oh shit! Why do I keep not seeing this stuff? I always saw was the candles. I did not see the dead lady floating there, hanging there, hanging. Holy shit! Oh, she hung herself. Okay. I don't know why that took me so long to get. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna walk away from that. Oh, it's moved. It moved, it moved, it's on the other side now. Oh, for a second I thought she was gone. Okay. We're about 
30 seconds in, a minute in, and I'm already terrified? Oh, hell no. Ma'am? Can I help you? Fuck me. Holy shit. Alright, I'm done. Bye, Grandpa. I don't want to know about you and your shit. She's gone. She's fucking gone. Oh, fuck me. I remember why I took a break from horror games for a bit. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. She's gone. And she's now roaming the house. Oh, fuck. Hi. <laughs> Can you tell me where I am? Someone could save me from this wretched place, but this house is lifeless now. I oh, don't know, shit's moving around. I'd say there's some kind of life here, and it's not good. <laughs> Who's crying? Is that me? Am I crying? Probably. I always am. Um... I don't like the... Uh, all right, all right. So it looks like we're walking down here. What's with all the mannequins, dude? This must have taken a lot of time to light all these candles. And <gasps> no, no, no. Fuck! God damn it! Oh, my heart's beating really fast. Oh, I don't like this shit. Oh, I don't like this shit. <laughs> I told myself I'd stop swearing as much in these videos, and, um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, interact with what? Interact with her? Or him? I don't judge. I don't see what I'm supposed to be interacting with. Uh... But this, uh, this grandpa was definitely into some shady shit. Let's just say that. Maybe she wasn't opening the letters because if you open them, something bad happens to you. Alright. I wouldn't have thought to do that. But... I mean, that's pretty clever for a door to like open with the arm. Oh, I don't like that noise. Oh. <laughs> Washing machine. We need to rinse cycle this whole house. Um. Divina Comeda? Oh. Oh. I butchered that. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have even dared. I, I, I shouldn't have dared to, to even try to say that. These feathers? Or something. I figure we should check out over here just in case. Just in case. I'm already freaking out. <laughs> um, Alright, this is a maze of a house, but we're gonna go with it. Oh, I don't like these noises. It sounds like it's from behind me. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, I shouldn't be laughing. I'm gonna make them angry. Please no. Okay, thank god. Eh. I, g I have to keep turning around behind me. I'm sorry, but I just don't trust it. Um. Please don't, like, drop down in front of me or run behind me or something. Oh, god, I don't like this. Um. Alright. Um. Can I F? A bag of death bloom is on the shrine. I don't feel good about being in this room. Oh, this is definitely not a good room. I don't think there's really anything else to do. Oh shit. Oh shit, unless I'm supposed to walk back here and then something happens. The lights just turned on, and I'm not okay with that. 
I'm really not. <laughs> uh, fuck. I feel like something's gonna happen. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna feel really dumb if nothing happens. All right. <laughs> um. Here we go. I guess. Oh, fuck me. No. Where's my flashlight? Where the fuck? What is that? Is that someone sitting in the chair? Yep! Yep, it's a dead guy! Oh my god! And there's a knife! This isn't real. We found her dead in the basement years ago. <gasps> Don't come over here! Don't come over here! Oh, and I immediately start moving. I'm panicking. I don't know what to do. Well, what do I do? Obviously, I don't want to go towards that bitch. <laughs> Stand in there like she's about to break my neck. She's going to do to me what she did to this guy. <sighs> I've only got one playthrough to figure out the story. Fuck. Alright, if you're going to kill me, just do it. Just do it. Just fucking do it. Just... Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. All right. This is stressful. Or did I die? Oh, it's saving. Okay. Oh! Oh, we're outside! Oh, I'm actually kind of excited about that. It's kind of cool out here. I, I, I feel better about being outside than I do being trapped in, like, a maze-like <laughs> creepy mansion. At least there's, like, flowers and stuff. Alright, so we're going back into the shit. <laughs> well, the garden was nice while it lasted. Alright, um, F to interact. Oh, we have a garden map. How do I... Oh, okay. Bachman Garden. Workshop, conservatory, fountain, pond, lookout, graveyard, shed, and then the manor. And I don't want to go back to the manor. <laughs> if I'm being quite honest, I don't want to go back there. Open the main gate to the manor. Should I, though? <laughs> um, so the fountain was up there. And we're heading straight, so that means there's gonna- What is that? Thing? Is that a ghost? Please be a ghost. Don't be real. Please don't be real. You're not real. Oh, I don't want to go in here, but I- um... it, it, that, It's what it's telling me to do. It's- it, So we have- We kind of have to. I'm sorry. I know I wanted to explore too. It's locked. There's a set of locks to the right of the gate. A set of locks? Uh, alright. Find three keys to open the gate. Okay. So we do have to explore, but now we know what we're trying to look for. We're looking for keys, and we'll probably see some other ghosts for the most is out here. Is someone living in here? Please don't. Please don't be like jumping out at me and shit. We've been around. <laughs> and we have not found any keys. Um, which is disappointing to say the Ah! Speak of the devil! We found a key. It's inscribed Tin Man. Alright, so we've got one key that we found. Now we've got to go find the other Tin Man keys. They probably name different things, but I like saying Tin Man. Um, we're gonna go check out, uh, over by the fountain again, the pond. I don't want to go to the graveyard. <laughs> Alright, graveyard, lookout shed. It is really suspicious though, right? That there's just like a van there and it's still working. Like, a lot of this stuff is actually still working and it's a little odd, like the lamps, the, the lights here, the light posts. Oh. This is the lookout, I'm guessing. And there's nothing up here. Oh, a letter. Journal of Brother Victor. October 14th, 1997. The workshop was always a peaceful place for me to get away from everything. I had hoped to die there one day, but the Lord had different plans for me. Uh, so a ghost wrote that? Brother Victor? 
Wait, hold on. Wait, did that? I'm sorry. I completely missed that. Brother Victor? What? <laughs> Is this a cult? Well, I don't know how I didn't guess it was a cult from the beginning. I guess it kind of makes sense. Um, alright, so this guy died. And he left that note from beyond the grave. Now, uh, I really hope we don't run into Brother Victor or any of the other cult members around here. Oh. Oh. I don't like that the shed is... <laughs> Alright, you guys. This is time to put our big boy pants on and check out this shit. Please don't jump scare me. Please don't jump scare me. Key! The scarecrow key. Oh, thank god. I was really thinking that we'd like turn around and something would like jump scare us. And my friends, that leaves us to the graveyard. Oh. Oh, that's the graveyard. Oh. No, thank you. <laughs> oh, the final key. The lion key. Alright. Thank God nothing happened. But I'm guessing I should go up to where there's like candles. Rip. I can't read that. Damn. Alright, so we found all three keys. And now we've got to go open the gate. All right. Here we go! All right, so we're getting closer and I'm getting increasingly more nervous. Um, yikes. I mean, it does look really cool. It looks really cool. The front door is locked. My grandfather should have bought a home security system instead of hiding keys all over the place. Yeah, you'd think so. Alright, so now we've got to, um... We've already opened the main gate and we've already found the three keys. So, uh, now what do we do? We find a way around, I guess. We find a way. Alright, we're gonna <laughs> bust in through the back. Alright. Um, backyard is equally trippy. Alright, we're coming through here. Oh, these are cute. I mean, it's kind of pretty and peaceful. If not incredibly creepy, but you know. Um, oh, a key. Front door key. And now we make our way to the front door, but I want to check out a little bit more of the backyard here. See, wow, well, that is a big tree. Woo! Oh, it's a shame it's not like flowering or I guess like the leaves are all gone. But that's a cool tree. It's got its own little house. All right, to the front we run and then we're going to open this shit. We're going to crap it open. Crap it open. My God, I can't talk. It's like I try to say two words at the same time. I was trying to say crack it open and pop it open. And I said crap it open. <laughs> um, Alright. Here we go. I unlocked it with the front door key. Oh, I'm already having second thoughts. Alright, you guys. I think that's where we're going to stop here for now. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. If not, that's okay too. Um, thank you guys again so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!